Turn it up. Lou's got the airwaves on lock. William Tuber. Ladies and gentlemen, it's about to go down. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. May, may, may I have attention for attention, please? This is Mambo Mseto. The William M. Tuber. The People Station. Radio Citizen. Radio number one. Tuko na V. Na mwita Nixon we songa. Yeah. We? Songa. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, welcome uh, uh, katika mambo msito visita. Noma sana, noma sana brother. Okay, it's yeah. a new year. It's a new year, it's a new year. Mm-hmm. How has it been for you 2018? Eh, 2018 yenye imekuwa ngumu. What do you mean? Imekuwa mwaka wa ku kusukuma, mm. ku kungangana. Mm-hmm na imekuwa mwaka pia wa mafundisho mm. nimejifundisha mengi mm. ku, kuhusu maisha marafiki mm-hmm. mm-hmm. um, mziki mm-hmm. kama biashara okay. mziki kama kujibamba <laughs> so mwaka wa 18 entirely ni mwaka ambao nili ni mwaka wa mafundisho kwangu okay. ni mwaka ambao nili ni ilionyesha kwamba BD hakuna mm. shortcut okay. eh, lazima ujitume lazima ujitume lazima ufanye mambo ukizungumza okay, kuhusiana na lessons ambazo umezipata kimaisha mfano ni kitu gani ambacho kilikutokea ukaji ukafeel da ah, man it's well, a lesson well unajua okay kama msanii mzazi um, uh, kuna mambo ambayo basi tukianza mziki kitamba tu kwa tunaelewa mm-hmm. mambo kama uh, mziki biashara mm-hmm. ya yeah, mambo kama brand unajua hizo ni vitu ambavyo sisi tukiingia tu kwa tunajua sababu sisi tulifuata kina nini yeah. akina nani unajua wale watu ambao mm. tulikuwa tunaona ah mziki ni kupiga nini ya kwenda show nini Kudibamba. na mamacha nda hizo vitu kama hizo lakini uh. baadaye tukakuja tukaelewa mziki pia mm. kuna vitu vingi ambavyo unaweza ukafanya mm. uh, kulingana na ndugu yetu kutoka jirani mm. wametufundisha mambo mengi so mimi naweza sema 18 diamond yani naweza nikasema mm. kibiashara so unaweza sema mimi mwaka wa 18 nimejifundisha vitu vingi mzazi. Okay. Um umemention marafiki. Yaani kwani kuna marafiki ambao wamekusaliti? Uh, marafiki okay, sio kunisaliti but kusema tu kwamba unajua kwa maisha hatukuzaliwa na marafiki mm-hmm. lakini tulipata tu marafiki tulitengeza. Mm. Uh, lakini duniani watu grow. Mm-hmm. Watu wanatoka age fulani unafika unatoka teenager unafika age fulani unaendelea kujigundua na vile unaendelea kujigundua mm-hmm. unapata kwamba maybe uh, the type of group ama people uko nao mm-hmm. sio the right people. So mm-hmm. mina feel maybe mm-hmm. kulingana na ndoto zetu tulipokuwa pamoja kama marafiki kila mmoja wetu alikuwa na ndoto tofauti tofauti mm-hmm. so sio kusaliti bali kila mtu alikuwa na ndoto kivyake tofauti Kivyaka. na ikafika yeah. muda fulani kila mtu akaifuatilia ndoto yake yeah so okay this is for the benefit of all ambao hawamjui nixon wesonga aka yeah. visitor yeah. ujamaa by the way ametoka mbali sana yeah. ujamaa alikuwa kisi Yeah, hasla, yeah Ebu, a... wapetu, just a brief for the yeah. sake of kusanii ambaye anaibuka na hasla ndafuta njia ya kupenya. Yeah. Anashindwa lini nitafika. Okay. Just for the sake of Okay, kwanza kabisa mimi kuna kitu ambacho basi wengi ambao wamenijua juzi juzi kwa kutoka grandpa. Mm. Uh, mi ni msanii naitwa Visita mm. kutoka enzi za kitambo since 2007 tulifanya kazi Jomino after Jomino Jomino ndio imeza DNA Kenrezi uh, also part of P unit kidogo yeah. so like um, pia watu wanafaa kujua mimi pia si mtu mimi sio babi mimi sijatoka kwa familia tajiri mimi ni hasla mm. ya yeah, mimi ni kijana ambaye nilitoka kuna muda fulani kwa maisha nilijipata kwa street pia ushaelewa mm-hmm. so ni mambo ambayo basi mimi naweza nikasema kwa sasa ulikuwa street Yes mzazi 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 mbona unanirudisha huko huko nilishatoka mzazi Kuna mtu ambaye anataka ku learn brother kuna mtu ambaye atajifunza kutoka kwako kabisa <laughs> Well um naweza nikasema ni maisha okay uh, kisi huko ama ni wapi kisi kisi yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. hauna kwa kulala hauna kwa kuna kwa kulala nakumbuka tulikuwa vijana kama tulikuwa vijana kama wanne na msichana mmoja mm-hmm. Eh, so pale pakinyesha ushi, unajua sasa tumepewa varanda na mwenye duka. Mm-hmm. Sasa pale pakinyesha unajua kisi kuna nyesha sana. Mm-hmm. Sasa pale ukipewa nafasi ya kulala muna, moja anaingiza mko kichwa yake ndani ya nguo ya mwingine. Mwingine anaingiza kichwa ndani ya mguu ya mwingine hivyo hivyo. Sasa msichana ndiye alikuwa wa mwisho. Juwezi ingiza kichwa yako kwa ndani ya mguu ya msichana. So ndiye alikuwa wa mwisho. 
alafu tunajigeuza hivyo hivyo so hivyo ndio mlikuwa mnajifunika hivyo ndio kwa tunajifunika but wow. ni kitambo mimi naweza sema nashukuru Mungu then how did you make it as a uka discover kwamba from the street kwamba you have a talent well okay mzazi mimi nikiwa nikiwa chuo shuleni nilikuwa nafa nilikuwa tu napenda mziki back in the days you know mimi ni msanii nimegoza ma 90s kidogo so najua mziki za 90s watu wenye wanajua mziki when it was mziki so uh, mimi nilikuwa napenda mziki na when i was there i used to kuna kuna hii club ilikuwa na kisi saa ilikuwa imejulikana sana ilikuwa inaitwa backyard mm. yeah so i used to go there kulikuwa na ma vitu vitu kwa zilikuwa zinapenuko kulikuwa na ma back to school nini so me i used to go there kwa hiyo shaweza ku eh kujiba ku ile tu kujibamba mm-hmm. so in the process tu nikapata marafiki but unajua sasa hizo ni zile enzi watu bado waelewi mziki poa mm-hmm. una club kazi mm-hmm. as in life si poa unarudi back to the street but me mind yangu haikuwa hapo nilikuwa hapo but my mind wasn't there so there's this there i nilikuwa nimeketi tu mbele hiyo shop kuna kuna glory hizi za kuleta mkate mm. zilikuwa zimeleta mkate hapo so nikauleza wao jamaa ndugu wewe hii hii lori ikitoka hapa inaenda wapi akaniambia hii lori ikitoka hapa inaenda Nairobi nikamwambia naenda na wewe mm-hmm. <laughs> Akaniambia ah lakini hii bara hii uwezi panda hii ni mimi pekee na tunaona nati imeandikwa ni ni only. Akaniambia mimi mtanitakana mta, mkate, mtanipeleka Nairobi. Na walinifikisha Nairobi hivyo. Kunifikisha Nairobi pale akaniambia sasa fanya hivi wewe najua nimekutoa ume, wewe ni chokora wa kisi lakini sasa wewe utaki kuwa chokora wa Nairobi. Uh-huh maana huko ni mbaya sasa fanya hivi wewe shika 100 mhm and alinifikisha hadi railways mm-hmm. akaniambia wewe shika hii 100 panda hii gari mahali utafika mwisho shuka hapo huko ndo unaweza survive and that's ngong ngong siri triple 1 1 1 1 1 1 man oh my god yeah and that's you, how... that was 2 or 3 2003 yes. that's how ulipenya ukaja hapa Nairobi nilikuja na lori ya mkate mzazi lori ya mkate ndio ilimtoa kisi kama jamaa street yeah. akafika na hii akajipata yeah. ngong 6 bit v6 i say come this come is come. amazing so you be with story ya um, uh, v6 did you know that about him did you know that kwamba alishi kwenye street no alikuja Nairobi na gari lori ya mkate si si kwa nimejua ameku surprise kabisa so many millions of people pia walikuwa hawajui v6 so kulikuwa na <laughs> wakati fulani uh, ukaja ukapata breakthrough kupitia kwenye competition yes tuweze yes. kusiana na shindano well uh, you know uh, back in the days jomino mm. uh, you know uh, kulikuwa na that was 2006 mm. uh, kuna competition ilitokea ya uh, mm. by then government spokesman now mm. governor mm, alfred mutua mm. He came up with the uh, music competition mm. ilikuwa inaitwa Sing a Song for Kenya mm-hmm. uh, it was uh, dubbed Najivunia kwa Mkenya mm-hmm. so it was a national you know competition mm. uka participate eh, nika participate and i was the one carrying Nairobi ulishinda kwa ufupi yeah, so nilishinda regional Nairobi uh-huh. then nikakuja nikashinda national tena i say yeah so nilishinda the whole comp I said 2006. Wow. Yeah. Yaani jamaa ametoka mbali ameweza kwa achieve vitu vingi sana. Alafu ukaja ukapatana na nikakuja nikapatana na Okay that time eh. uh, actually a lot happened but mzazi mm. Um history ni refu sana. Unajua? Ni maana ndio usummarize. Unajua baadaye ukapatana na Grand Prix Records. Yeah, baadaye you know uh, na 2012 tunapatana mm. na Ref, alikuwa mm. ananitafuta sana kwa sababu alikuwa anamsikiza mambo zangu. Mm. So alikuwa ananitafuta sana through Rezi mm. na Rezi ndio alituconnect. Okay. Uh, tukajua na from there then alikuwa anakuja na sikiza beat zangu kuna zile mm. alikuwa ananunua mm. but then baadaye 2012 ndo tuka tukaamua kufanya kazi pamoja mpaka mm. 2016 okay yes. um wewe well, baada kutoka kwenye Grand Prix Records ili acha watu wengi katika ya utata kwa sababu kuna sound fulani ambayo ili miss yes. kwenye industry beat ya visita ambayo ilikuwa imekamata sana Kabisa. um what ha, what went wrong really like hii inamaanisha kwamba ndio ilikuwa mwisho wa sound uh, beat ya visita okay ambayo ilianza kusababisha ngoma kama kina fimbo mm. lakini mzazi kipo kile ambacho ningependa kusema leo na ninashukuru umenipa fursa 
sababu mzazi wewe unanijua wewe ndio presenter wa kwanza kunipatia show you know um, mseto mashinani ya kwanza ulinipa kisi pale kwa hatari lakini mzazi um, kitu ambacho ilifanyika grandpa hmm. ni kitu ambacho um, siezi ukisingependa okay, kuiongelea tena yeah. lakini naweza penda kusema kwamba hmm. ni kitu ambacho ilikuwa kibaya sana okay. na sisi kama wasanii kwa muda fulani hmm. hatuaminiki okay. sababu ni sisi tunashutiwa ma video hmm. sisi ndio tunafanywa hivi mm-hmm. So muda fulani ukimashida chochote kikitokea mm. msanii hawezi akaaminika. Okay. Maana msanii lazima atatumia pesa vibaya, lazima mm. atatumia kwa pombe, lazima atavuta bangi, msanii lazima atakuwa mkora kimpango mm. kwa society. So chochote kila ambacho mdusi atasema kuhusu msanii itaaminika. Lakini mzazi mimi nakuambia leo mbele ya Mungu mm. nilikosewa. Pakubwa. Okay. okay lakini mimi sina shida nilisamere figa na mimi niko sawa na ye sana okay. hata nikikutana na ye maana unajua hii maisha mzazi hii maisha ni binadamu ukosea binadamu mwingine au utapatana na paka ikutukane hata Kwele. utajua kama umbo imekutukana okay. utakuuma lakini mimi makosa yalifanyika mzazi mimi nimesamere figa na ye naomba kama kuna mahali nilimkosea kama ye ni mtu mzima akusame anisame okay that's very good um kwamba umeweza kuleta ile wazi jiunge na mseto east africa family kwa kusubscribe katika youtube channel sasa weka notification button on upate update zote mapema kumbuka mambo mseto nyumbani kwa malezi ya vipaji